All right, so I just finished doing all the tree work here. So, you know, all the trees that were immediately in the road are out of the way. You know, I stacked stuff off to the sides. You know, there's some some logs there. And I tried to separate out the different types of materials. So, you know, you got stuff like the bigger stuff like that, which could go to a sawmill. And then you got your stumps and brush, which could be chipped or burned. So now this is still a rough path through here. Now I got to bring the bulldozer through and grade it as best as I can. Because you can see, you know, right here how much of a hump that is. And then how low this is right here. So I'll have to push down that, that pile for a while and fill in this area here. And then the driveway goes kind of back uphill again. I got to smooth this out here with all these rocks. And then we're going through like an off camber kind of thing here. So I'll use the bulldozer to cut this. We'll cut it lower and make it even. All right, and so then we're coming up to the stream area here. So I got all the firewood stuff from this spot stacked in one area. So that's nice and neat. And then all the brush and stumps stacked right there and then everything is all set here I'm not doing anything past the stream yet and we've got this bridge is going in in a few days so I think we're putting in some uh, pilings and then some I-beams and then a wood deck so I finished all the tree work but there's this one more tree here that that kind of needs to go I mean you could be squeezing through here but You'd never get cement trucks or anything through here. And once I grade that, the roots would be messed up anyway. The reason I didn't do it yet is because it's pretty big and it's leaning at this barn. And pushing it, you know, I'm downhill from it. And I just, I mean, the yawn mark could probably do it, but I don't feel great about it. So what I'm going to do instead, I think, is use the dozer to pull it down with a long cable. I've got this cable. I think this is either five eighths or three quarter, but you know, I haven't been able to break it yet. So, yeah, geez, look at this tree. This thing is leaning at that building pretty good. All right, now since the bulldozer's holding that tree, I'm gonna dig at the roots a little bit with the Yanmar.
right, cool. This tree did what I wanted it to do, and that was not hit the barn. So uh, that's good. And I can clean it up. And whenever you do, you know, do a tree like that, and it hits a ton of other trees, just first you want to look up and make sure there's no branches hanging that are about to fall. So everything looks safe here. Finally got all the tree work done here on this new driveway so it's time to start grading out this road so I'm standing on a high spot right here so I'm gonna take this area right where I'm standing push it down and push that material into this low spot here and push some that way and smooth that out as well
I just finished up roughing in this road so this is pretty nice now you could actually drive in and out of here no problem so we'll do a walk through here so it'd be real nice to uh, clean up some of this wood that's a good next step to make this look a lot less messy you know this stuff on the side could be either chipped or trucked away you know, all the firewood is, uh, you know, some firewood there. So that could be cut up and stacked a little neater. I want to spread out a little more hay on these edges. All right, so if, you know, a few more trees could maybe go. So it's a drop narrow right here, so maybe these few on the right. But I mean, you can definitely get through here, and it's a pretty straight section. So, so we got some uh, firewood logs here, and if there's a few mill ones, you know that one hickory. That's uh, it's not that big, but it's really straight, so that could go to the mill. And that's all good firewood right there. And then here's a big brush pile, you know, that could be burnt or chipped or trucked away. So here we are coming up to the stream. So this has all been mulched, so it's nice and stable. I got the silt fence all installed. So the next step on this project is probably going to be something with this bridge. I think we have some piles going in in a few days so that should be interesting uh, drilling in those pilings and then we're setting some some steel beams and then we're doing an oak deck on it and then once the bridge is in place we can uh, continue on that side where <laughs> from here it looks pretty thoroughly marked out so a few more good uh, saw trees there too so <laughs> 